Welcome back, boys. This is episode eight of the Ultimate Iron series. If you want to see how this account started, I do have a playlist you can find in the description or at the top of the video. But at last, I am preparing for Perilous Moon in terms of the gear. I am trying to wrap up the barrels portion because I got my tank top and bottom, but I have a lot of leftover barrels gear. So it would be nice to complete a set first so I can store it and then out the rest, free up some space to move on to our next big thing. So that's what we're going to be doing mostly today, but also work on a bunch of other really important goals for the foundation of this account. It's time to think about a bit more long term, right? We're going to be here possibly for a while. No idea, right? When we'll get a full set to store. I don't think I, I want to just camp barrels nonstop because I've definitely fallen into that trap before. I think we're going to do a little bit of some other grinds in between because right now uh, with barrels, inventory space management is really easy. I think I'm going to do some Hunter now. Get to 69 Hunter in the next few days. Spread it out. Boost to make the mixed hides. Because I, I need to collect uh, some hides that require 72 Hunter. So the mixed hides is a new set of range armor. That's very close to that Black D high in terms of stats. But it does also have a stab and strength bonus as well. Which is nice for some melee hybriding. But you can get it pretty easily. As long as you have uh, about 70 or so Hunter to gather the hides to pay some dude in the hunter guild to make it so for iron man's you can either continue doing the clue scrolls for the black d i said or you can train hunter and get this set instead but on the ultimate iron man it is extremely busted because unlike the black d hide you can actually store the full set in your house making this incredibly strong all right so our method for hunter to 69 is gonna be red salamanders Let's think about Hunter Rumors, but honestly, at this level, it's pretty bad rates. There it is, our first Hunter level, and this is actually so good XP. I'm only doing three traps. I just unlocked four, by the way, and I'm getting 80k an hour. Actually, my math is wrong, because now I'm getting, like, close to 90k an hour doing four traps. Some of the best rates I've done on any skill so far. They just got 62. Okay, here we go. 63. Hunter, we can catch rich hens, which I will gladly avoid. There it is. 64, Hunter. Five more levels. 65, Hunter. Let's go. One more to go. We're going to finish the last four tomorrow. Oh my god, another Trax body? Holy shit. Honestly, dude, I can't believe we got two tank bodies and it's the same one. All right, time to help the Torax. Close your eyes, guys, if you're sensitive to to what you're about to see. If your discretion is advised. If not, well, I just made a uh, 180k. Oh my god, what? No way. I have Carol's top and bottom now. RNG is actually on fire. I'll try to keep it for now. I mean, we're not really struggling on inventory. The Carol's... Notably, has insanely good magic defense, so super good against like things like Arams, right? Which will drain your stats a ton if your defense sucks to magic, right? So with Carol's, my stats won't drain as much, which is really good. Eventually, or soon, we're probably going to have to get rid of it, so it'd be nice to be able to actually use this a bit. 74 range. That's pretty good, because we are going to work on that fire cape today, so there's going to be quite a bit of ranging, I want to say. There we go, just hit 75 attack. I ran out of steel arrows, so I'm probably just gonna probably fletch some more. I'm gonna be doing some melee style Vikings with some ranging. Just because I want to not have to spend so much arrows. Just for the hell of it. Let's see if it's possible to stay 100k at Red Salamanders. There we go. First hunter level of the day. We got Spotty. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yo, 67 hunter. Two more to go, guys. Yo, 68 Hunter, let's go. This is uh, the last catch, guys. I almost actually maintain 100k an hour, dude. That's actually insane. And now we can catch dashing kibitz. But most importantly, I can now boost with a Hunter Potion to trap the uh, Sunlight Antelope. So let's go and do that. Wait, I need 50 Herbler. Oh, shit. Guys, guys, we've encountered a slight problem. But I was waiting for a problem like this. I'm finally about to uh, show you another trick up my sleeve with the Fossil Island. We're going to tap into this stash of 
fossils that we've collected. But I'm just gonna get enough XP lands from these fossils right now to get to 50, and I'll just plus three boosts with stews. If you don't know how to do the fossils, you just clean it up. You get them from doing stuff around this island, right? So just clean it up, and then you can deposit it like so, and then grab some more, and yeah, you just do it again. All right, we made our first set, and all we do is put it on our blur. Oh, 2k. Yeah, 2k for small. There we go, 49 herb. Just gotta do four more of these small fossils and we're we're good. Alright, here we go. This should be enough. Sweet, 50 herb blur. We can steal tears a bit. Like one more time, I guess. Try again. Oh, that was it. Got it. There we go, hunter potion made. Nice. Alright, let's get to it, boys. All right, we got one of the furs, so we need one of this. Also, this fur as well, fox fur. The jaguar fur makes the cape, and the fox fur, oh, I need three of them, makes the legs. All right, so here we go. We're going to drink this. That should give us the, the level here. We're just going to set up a bunch of this. Continue to drink if we run out. But we need three of these, so we're probably going to have to use multiple. Oh, nice. I got a collection log, though. That's sick. Okay, hopefully that's enough. If uh, we need more, we can always, you know, boost again and try again. I think this is uh, enough. Let's go. I think I just have to talk to him, I guess. Can you make some armor for me? There we go. All right. So we're going to just make everything. I shoot hope everything. 20,000 coins. A makes high top. Let's go. Well, now we just got to make the legs. Well, the boots, I guess. Nice. Damn, the plan is working out without a hitch. And finally, we make the cape. Holy shit. And will you look at that? We just upgraded from freaking green dehyde all the way to freaking mixed hides. Look at my range bonus. So we just gained 50 plus range accuracy. Pretty much black dehyde. I should be able to store this in the armor case. Yeah, look at that. Only use the top, bottom, and the boots because the cape. I'm just going to store it separately because I'm going to use the uh, Avas accumulator, of course. All right, let's get ready for fight case. We're almost there. Just going to get us some rune arrows from LMS and some points for the looting bag. I think 400 rune arrows is more than good enough. I'm 90% going to be meleeing the fight cave, so we don't really need that many. All right, all these prayer pots that we have saved up from... Scurious and honestly, ice trolls. A lot of it's just from ice trolls farming the ranars that I got. And yeah, we are finally going to put it to good use. That's it. <laughs> just gonna mostly melee and range with our setup here. I think I'm gonna range the bat though. We'll see how that goes. Alright, let's go. First wave of many. One out of uh, 63, right? Alright, we're now at the ranger waves. We do have Torax armor, so we should be pretty damn tanky overall. Okay, boys, we've used one Karambon, and we've gone to the melee guy. Yeah, melee guy's kind of annoying, actually, meleeing the melee guy, because he heals. Alright, boys, this is where it gets hard, because the Major's going to spawn, and I definitely can't range the Major too much due to my uh, limited ammo, so... We're going to have to do some uh, funny flinching. Except, yeah, this weapon's 4 takes, so it doesn't really synchronize that well. Yeah, the flinching is pretty balls, but at least the zombie axe, you know, do slap. We need to go the other way. Alright, first one down, and many more to go. Forgot to mention that some of the mixed hides actually give strength bonus, like the boots... I think the top gives two. So, yeah, it's actually kind of nice to wear this for melee, too. I do know where the major spawns, so I just gotta make sure I start at the right spot every time. That's ideal. Oh, wait. Oh, I need a bank. Ah! Uh, no more food. Probably have to try again. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. What? Why is this prey melee? Oh, my God. Only wasted about an hour and two prayer pots. 
But I know what to do now, so we're gonna just buy more, uh, more food. I feel like six prayer is enough. Oh, nice. Alrighty's definitely helping a lot. Hitting 34s unpotted. I guess I gained a max hit probably from the mix heights too. So watch this. We're just gonna... You see? We're gonna get this ranger over here and then we just kill it safely. Like so. Don't have to deal with both at the same time. 19 more to go and we still have an okay amount of food. Alright, I don't think he can hit me. It should get stuck. There we go. Oh, risky, but... Oh, come on. Oh my god. No! Jesus Christ, that level up, man. Stopped me from moving. Thank god the major was maging me, but that would have sucked. But yeah, 99 combat. Cool. Ooh, okay, that was way too close. Okay, we're towards the end now. I have uh, one food to my name, though. The waves are kind of not that hard anymore, so. Time to fight the jab, boys. There we go. Slowly getting it down. Alright. We're just gonna... Oh, what? Mother trucker. Man, where did you come from, bro? I just want to make sure I have no prayer. But I do now, so we can just melee it now. Let's go, Axe. Nice, nice. Oh, I lagged a bit there. That's scary. There we go. Nice. We got it. Took a while, but we did it. The melee method is definitely not for beginners, and if you are going to do melee fight caves, I recommend at least a 4 take weapon like a D-Skim, because you can attack every single time and not miss hits, unlike the zombie axe. I think I'm going to get my Kramsher 1 done real quick, use up these toggle, because now I have access to the gem shop with the fire cave in uh, the inferno area, so yeah, let's get some quick craft XP. Alright, Kramsher Gloves 1, let's go. Just gotta milk all the opportunities to do all the Enchrana related stuff every time I death pile or death storage. So. so we're gonna start this quest. The Enlightened Journey is pretty important. And also uh, start, finish the Hand in the Sand so I can access the Magic Shop in the Virtual Skill because it's really good. All right, there we go. Hand in the sand, done. More quest points towards Bear's Gloves, which we will be working towards now. Now we can buy the runes from this shop, which is really good. The Wizard Guild typically sells the runes at the best prices, so this is really nice for long term. We got a really good magic defense now with Karos, so Arams should not be toasting our stats. Dang, look at that shit. Arams cannot do much to me right now. Can't lower my stats with the Karos. Go Karos tank. I have no food. Trust in the Karos. There we go. Look at that. Nice and easy. Hell yeah. Just got 69 farming. So we're still at Ammonites. Just ranging away. Planting whatever giant seed I get. Uh, we're just getting so many giant seed sports. Oh my god. Look at this. Like I just got 10 already while trying to farm this. But. Yeah, we're getting some nice farm levels, always good. Uh, this is going to be super helpful for the big herbaler grind in the future. Probably the last time I'm going to try to upkeep cooking for real. Alright, sweet. 51 fishing, all that's left is fletching, so let's send it. Alright boys, we just got 75 range using up these steel arrows. We got 51 range, um, of course, setting up for Tears of Guthix for Herbalor, but it's probably going to be the last time I do this. This is probably my last AFK session here. A Knight 76 range and uh, 1,000 stars left, so probably not going to get another range level. Today, we're going to be mixing in Barrows and Questing. Questing mainly for the Barrows Gloves, but also just things like Slurhome, 
Dram Battle Axe, and also a Stash Unit where I can combo those items as well. I'm just gonna burn through these Steel Arrows first before we start. Oh shit, I actually got a freaking Slayer level. I didn't think this uh, Steel Arrows was gonna last so long. We're almost done though. Alright guys, we actually completed two hard clues out of three or four. Oh shoot, we got a Guthix page, that's cool. And uh, number two. Oh wow, another MSB. Gonna use up these Brimstone Keys as our last thing. What? Celestracy, bruh. Oh, okay, Sharks. Finally decided to finish the Fender Rack. I literally just forgot about this quest. Yo, check out this safe spot, guys. Nice, we just hit 79 magic. Alright, there we go. Our barrels runs are a lot faster now with uh, our current setup. We're getting almost 10 an hour. Oh shit, 200 barrels KC though. I'm looking at these rates right now. Uh, they're kind of bad, but it is very AFK though. But I do want to try a different method, uh, which is the good old barbarian fishing here. Fly fishing. There's like a fire here that's infinite. So yeah, there's a freaking eternal fire here this whole time. Alright, we just got our first fishing level. And yeah, salmon, tuna area is much better. I'm getting like almost double the XP in fishing. And also 30k cooking an hour. So yeah, this is definitely better than lobster. Hey, nice. I got another cooking level. Ooh, this one's for heroes uh, quest. Wreck. That's good. Alright, wish us luck. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Yo, I got the bottomless bucket! Oh man, too bad I didn't get it on stream. Oh, shout out to the boys. Real, actual, huge. So I can do this. I can do this. Wait, isn't there like a note option? Oh, there we go. There, there is a note option. So right click, bank notes. Take it all out. And then put it into the bottomless bucket, boys. And yes. There we go. Oh, that's so nice. So I just doubled my Ultra Compost, basically. Now I have 200 instead of 90. All right, we finished AFK for the day. It's time to start the actual grind. So we're going to end the session of fishing and cooking at 59. Fishing, 61 cooking. But today, we're going to go and start Desert Treasure 1. Thieving needs to go up two levels, and I need to train my woodcutting to one more level. And then I actually gonna boost to 75 woodcutting so I can cut some magic logs. So we're gonna do this thieving method for these two levels just to change it up. Oh look, already my first level. I didn't realize I was this close. Just one more to go. Citizen is distracted by this kid, so we just pickpocket. I also got these keys, which is going to be opening these houses for further XP and rewards. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, so there's a bunch of houses. So once one house is done, you go to the next. I guess this is AFK enough for me to probably edit some videos and stuff because this part is not too bad. As long as I have game sounds on, I can always escape on time before I get caught. So if I were to need a train thieving and I really got to just AFK it, yeah, I'd probably just keep doing this method in the future. All right, we just got 53. So we're all done. There we go. 73. We're cutting no way. Okay, time for the boosting operation. I got it. Yes, let's go. And uh, in the woodcutting guild, we get a plus 7 woodcutting boost. So that helps out a lot. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, it's fine. We already have 3 done. Oh, I got it. Yes. Alright, only took about 4 boosts. Sweet. Just double check. Looks good, looks good. I Alright, that wasn't too bad. That was actually, believe it or not, the fastest I've ever gotten 12 magic logs on in my account. Our Scania Smith. Wait, did they change the guy's name? Oh, wait, no more sell any tier? Oh, shit. I have access to the easy uh, combat achievements, so I can actually use the hilts to get back here. That's awesome. Because I don't have any restores on me right now, so basically, I'm gonna kill five of these, go back and reset my stats, and then, uh, I guess, no more hill back here. Does this do double damage on them? Oh, it does. Yes, let's go. Troheim Telly. I think I only have one Telly, though. Oh, one of three. Whoa, that's even better. I haven't finished Edgar's Roost yet, so... 
There we go. Nice. That was a lot easier than I remember. Let's go. Oh, I got it? Yo, two lockpicks. Bruh. Surprise. Oh, shit. Can I hit it from here? Oh, let's go. Get wrecked. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I got my silver pot. Wait, I gotta go to Entrana. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to glitch it because... I'm too lazy, and I don't think I have enough food to really f*** around. Uh, oh shit. Dude, this guy's in my house, mate. Get out of my house. What are you doing? There we go, boys. There's a treasure is freaking done. Let's freaking get it. One of many more quests to go. Oh no, no, not the Virax helm. I already have that. Oh, I just needed the skirt. I needed the skirt, boys. Oh man. All right, well, that's 60k, I guess. Yo, I just hit 70 farming. That's pretty sick. I think that is. Oh, poison ivy, which I think that's also a solid else wreck. But yeah, we're just using up all the seaweed right now that I got from AFK and crabs and picking it up here. Speaking of giant seaweed, I will be using the giant seaweed soon enough to train my crafting 75 for a bunch of awesome things like glories for the house, jewelry box 2 for the house, uh, the ability to make a divine rune pouch at some point, and that requires super glass mix spell to use with the giant seaweed. So that means lunar diplomacy, however, that requires 61 crafting before I can do the quest, so I have to find a way to train my crafting, but luckily I already figured that out, and that's going to be through star mining. Well, I'm using this website, it's called osrsportal.com slash shooting stars tracker, so I feel like if you just Google that, you'll find it. It just tells me uh, which world, uh, what tier star. I can do up to almost tier 8, I want to say, and you can just AFK for a long time, so it's amazing. Star mining is primarily for mining XP, but you can also get crafting XP by spending your stardust on this thing that you can buy from the dwarf and fall door called a sack of gems. And as the name suggests, you open it and you get a bunch of uncut gems and then you just cut it for XP. So that's what we're going to do. I missed the level, but we're now 80 mining. All right, boys, I did some research regarding the gem packs that you get 300 stardust to get a gem pack and each gem pack gives you approximately 2500 xp worth of crafting if i just simply chisel more if i make it get into something else but 2500 that's the key number here and i need 170,000 experience to 61 right so that means i need to get approximately 20,000 stardust to get approximately 60 or so gem packs and that will net me the 61 crafting so it's actually not that bad i already have 2.5k you will need another free inventory space to open the bag oh all right there we go so as you can see a lot of good stuff oh whoa the dragon stone that's actually insane okay you know what guys May maybe i should do some more star mining just because if i can get enough dragon stones i can actually upgrade my jewelry box which would be really nice for the infinite teleports to a bunch of different areas like farming guild and stuff. Dang, that's actually so good. Two of these already. If I'm looking at this correctly on the wiki here, the Dranstone rates is actually, uh, you get one in five gem bags. So that means eight more would require me to get 40 gem bags. So I should be able to get... 10 Dran Stones before I even get to my crafting goal. So that's perfect. Okay. If there was a strategy for me to optimize my star mining, I think it's just simply going to the spots that I can teleport to as fast as possible because there's just so many stars. I don't actually have to look for like the highest tier or anything. There is one big issue though. I can't just rush for the jewelry box too because I still need to train my crafting to 70 plus to make the skilling necklace and combat bracelet. So even if I get the giant stones early, yeah, we're still stuck. So we definitely don't need to rush this, but I am super looking forward to working on this after getting the barrels gloves because I still need to AFK my cooking to 70 with my spare time. 
we will resume this crafting related goal right after though for sure all right uh let's buy the rest of these six seven <laughs> oh my god that's so crazy how how uh how many giant stones you actually get oh man literally we're going to back to back freaking <laughs> crash stars dude nice we got 81 mining i think this is probably gonna be the last level i'll get though all right boys after a full day of afk star mining i finally got the 10 dragon stones and basically just enough rubies to get that medallion for the dig site pen in my house it took about two whole mine levels before i mess up so we're gonna put these 10 in the looting bag and then the rest chisel them all right boys we got our operation a monster selves so i gotta clean up all these gems from uh, yesterday's afk star mining so i have 200 rubies uh, we gotta take care of those first because i am going to give it to this guy you need 250 of them and if i get 250 i get the creator's medallion which lets me make permanent dig site pen and telly in my house all right we got our first crafting level already 53 it's time to get this medallion yes ah there we go all right well let's build a nexus room oh so expensive it's gonna be worth it though gotta drink the tea and we should be good to go oh look at that mounted the excite pendant oh nice we do be going to fossil island a lot there we go this should work now now we can use the stick side pendant properly and voila nice nice and easy boys all right guys we're now at 55 crafting actually making a pretty good return right now i'm getting like two to three k uh every time i basically sell an inventory's worth assuming that other people aren't you know using the world that i'm in you know what's cool i noticed there's a gen store like right here as well and because i have all this extra sapphires over emeralds i don't think it's worth doing extra hops so i'm just gonna actually sell uh, one inventory of sapphire here and then one inventory of sapphire here so that way i can be a bit more efficient so it should work oh man another level dude we're getting actually quite a lot all right another crafting level this might be the last one though oh shit 58 crafting Woo. All right, guys, we are done cleaning out all these gems by selling to the shops. It wasn't that bad. I was able to clear it all out in about a little bit over an hour, basically 100k XP. So that was really worth it. I got a lot of money back, but that leaves us with 70k to go. Anyways, we got to head back to uh, working on our main goals, which is recipe for disaster, barrels, gloves, so training cooking um doing some barrels to complete a set because like we really got to clean up some of this barrel stuff it's taking up a lot of my space so let's do that 